Are we going to slap? Slap some Here numbers, baby. This is episode 285. 285. Slappercast. Is that the weekly Pod- talk show with Blackheads? Podcast. What's a podcast? Yeah, well, when a, a man and a woman love each other, they have a special hug, but it's usually for a button. No, stop. Yeah, so we are in that. Uh, we're in glorious Missouri right now. We've got, what have we got? 77 degrees. There's a slight humidity, but fresh day. It, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, of course it's slap day, but, uh, the humans around here call it Sunday. It's uh, we've we've had two very successful nights out of Mallys and Weston, as you've probably seen some of the clips. If not, go back and watch some of them. Damn, you're not doing any work anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell them. Yeah, we're traveling south. We're going to uh, Heston, Kansas. We're going to play today with our friends, the Sassanax. A funny story. Our good friend John Werner of uh, Werner Trucking Company USA. Uh, he he got stranded in Florida. Apparently the airlines don't know how to how to use a mouse and you know and click on things and anyway they screwed up the whole the whole airways. He went to Florida on purpose, so I have no sympathy for him. <laughs> he doesn't do right. I mean, come on. So anyway, so he got stuck and he was supposed to be in Weston with us last night. Didn't happen. However, his bandmate Rich proposed to his girlfriend Jamie. She had no idea. We called him up. He got down on one knee. Hello, let's see let's hear what she said first. I did whisper in his ear. Are you sure you want to do this? I whispered in her ear. Um, you know, you got time. To, there's an exit, you know. But, uh, no, marriage is great. <laughs> Look your eyes three times if you want to say yeah. no. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. She has, they have that sign. Yeah. Oh, uh, Thank you. Yeah, so we, 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 we played ball and chain uh, in honor of their uh, your, their holy union. <laughs> you people, uh, it looks like some people got the joke, too. Yeah, oh, yeah. It, today in uh, Ember Creek Barn in, in Kansas, we'll do a real song for them, yeah. but... It was just, it, it was so fun to see. I love that. I love, I love when, when when couples are in love and they're, you know, they do their thing. And as, as our good friend Doug Stanhope would say, you know, let's get the government involved. Let's get some paperwork involved. I love you so much. So just, ah, so still buzzing, still buzzing. I really had to come down a lot. I had to drink like four coffees just to come down to, to do this episode today. Cause it's, it's uh, this weekend was just, it, it just felt like a drug fueled, yeah. Weekend. I think people have one question that they need answered. Did Chad find love? <laughs> you know, I'm going about it the wrong way. That's what I heard last night that he was trying to find it. Yeah. So yeah. They, need, they need to know. I gotta yeah. know. I want to know. You see, Chad's never. He's never told me. Such a rumor. Yeah. Chad's never told me. He said, "Hey, you know, why don't you stay on the microphone? Go get me a woman." <laughs> he never yeah. said that. I, he never said that one time. Actually, cut, 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 cut just once. Yeah, but, but he disappeared for a while, so I want to know what was happening. Yeah, and then Bob oh. Reader came down with a big smile on his face. I yeah. was like, "What? Are you getting some Bob, some vitamin B?" <laughs> so, uh, Benjamin, he uh, he's never said that, but for some reason, I've just taken it upon myself to to to, to find a. But but there were so there were some women in there last night that were just drooling. I mean, they I couldn't break. The, I threw glassware at their heads to try to break their stare, and they were just staring at him. And it was, oh, was that what that was? Yeah. I was like, hey, over here, look at the, look at the drummer. He's got no shirt on. He might have, you know, and nothing. We couldn't get, break them away. So I was just saying, you know, he's, he's available. You know, it's just, it was, it was one of those things. I, I think I, I oversold it. Oh. And they were like, man, I mean, he's, you know, if he's, if he's all these things, which I said, I, everything was the truth, as always. And I think the women thought to themselves, if everything he says is so true, uh, you know, then th- th- then he's definitely not single. So I think I oversold it. <laughs> so I'll calm it down today in Emma Creek. That's right, you're trying. Because it's an all. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I did my best. All right, all Anybody right, we on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I promised you this would happen. This is happening right this minute. We right are now? we are high as kites. We have just left. Ready. We have just left the at all ages uh, show with the Sassanacs and Blackguards, and we 
uh, are asked never to come back because of what they said to the children. <laughs> but what we're going to do is we're going to go around here. We're going to introduce you to the lads. I think you know some of us. I, I know you know uh, you know John and I, but everybody, if you just give us, I just want your name, what you play, and I, I want one thing extra. I want, I, give me your biggest musical influence, if you would, please. We're going to start with Clint. Oh, I know. Yeah, I'm on the spot already. Yes. Or we're going to start with John. We're going to start with John again, if you want. That, that'd be great. Okay. Okay. I already did. Let's go again with John. Let's go with John. John, I play a lot of instruments, and none of them really good. Um, <laughs> uh, biggest influence was Led Zeppelin, probably early on. Oh, uh, you're gonna hate you're gonna hate this one, but I, I think he'll like it. So I'm Clint. I play guitar and I get to play mandolin on like three songs because John lets me. And <laughs> sing. Um, and sing. And sing sometimes when a Matt's microphone didn't go out. <laughs> um, I'd say my my biggest influence probably is Pearl Jam. Oh yeah. Cool. Oh, that's nice. I'll, I'll take it. Okay. I'll take it. I know they, these guys hate it. But... No, I like it. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. I'm, I'm a I'm a huge Eddie Vedder fan. I mean, I, I like Pearl Jam, but. I, I, I completely understand. But I also, I, I just want to jump in here for Rich. Rich uh, got engaged last night Woo! Uh, yeah. at, at Weston. Oh, uh, not to me. At, uh, yeah. no. <laughs> That's on the download thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so I just wanted to jump in, but we wanted to say congratulations to, uh, to Rich and Jamie, who I'm now going to call Randy and Jackie because mm -hmm. I've, I've been screwing up everybody's fucking name on this whole thing. <laughs> so anyway, but please, Rich, introduce yourself. Sorry, yeah. I wanted to say that. Not rich, play bass with the sad snack. So I and sing, sing a little bit. I usually make the noises. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, no, my, my biggest influence is a couple. I grew up redneck, so Leonard Leonard Skinner with multiple guitars and all of that going on. But uh, I'm going to go country influence, and I love Chris Ledoux and that that whole uh, rodeo scene and whatever. That's that's pretty right. cool. Yeah. yeah, let's go, right. Joey. I'm. Joey Manga and I uh, play violin with the with the sass snacks and um, I grew up uh, classical music so most of my influence are from the classical world but then uh, you guys are probably gonna make fun of me for this but uh, Dave yes. Matthews band oh, big, cut you know, I like cut. it <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I mean the way they, they it's a good drummer they, <laughs> <laughs> it's good you do that they, you know, they improvise together, they play together really well. They, mm -hmm. they had a fiddle player, um, maybe it's some more, player. but they're all just top notch musicians. Oh, they don't have the fiddle player anymore? No. I don't think so. Okay. No. no, they don't. But, I mean, they just play so well together. Such a high level of musicianship. Tight, tight, tight yeah. band. Yeah. Is that the guy with the vest full of harmonicas? No. <laughs> 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 when he was the big or when he was small? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I think I think they stopped playing because he ate them. <laughs> you know, he, he had to tell me that he. Sorry, let's go ahead. We're gonna go, John. Again. So I'm John Ewart. I play the drums, and my biggest influence, beside my older brother, who it was kind of like a Step Brothers, where he said, "Don't touch my drums." <laughs> and then when he went to work, I touched his drums and played them. Uh, but the, my biggest style that I tried to copy is Alex Van Halen. Oh yeah. Uh, I love that sound. Oh yes, yes. Absolutely, and, and, and I can hear it. I, I can hear it. It's it's just tremendous. We were just gushing over your kit uh, again. Uh, thank you for that. So we'll go back to uh, Matt. Uh, play banjo and sing, and uh, influences, especially to get into this genre, was was uh, Dropkick Murphys, Flog Molly, and Pogues. Very cool. And also, just we were talking with Joey. I bet well, we've known this before, but. So you didn't know you weren't into the Irish thing at I all. I had no clue about this genre and, and, and all these songs. I'd never heard of them. Did the word is like poison you or was that the that's yeah, that's yeah, is that was, where you tricked me? This guy. Me too. We worked together. He was oh, never listened yeah. to it before. That's right, but, yeah. school district. We pulled him in. But we he worked with me. He was uh he, we were both elective teachers in the same hallway. Yeah. And it was funny because uh our art teacher was sitting with uh, uh, Rhonda Dugan, who's a great fan too, by comes to a lot of her shows. She said, you should get Joey to play in your band. And I'm like, Joey don't want to play in my band. Or <laughs> like, he's way too good for this and everything. And Joey's like, no, I think I'd try I was between and, bands. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah but it, 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 it's, it, it's, I mean, like, like seriously, with the, with the, the like, like kind of Van Halen yeah. feel on the kit and your, I mean, your, your, your dexterity, you know, and you, and you can tell your passion in your music. Yeah. It's just, it really fits well. And yeah, we're just blown away. Like I said, we're 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 all pretty. Well, I speak for myself. Pretty pretty high after today. It was just an absolute blast. We're at Emma Creek Barn 
and uh, <laughs> uh, Josh, not John. Uh, uh, you know, it was so uh, uh, that's, all weekend. That's his middle name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just John Hastings. Yeah, 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 yeah. But just uh, and, and Natasha, his lovely wife, who runs the place now. So now we now we've got a shower, and we've got to go in there. We've got to try to clean it up, and go back and you know do it right again. But uh, yeah, we wanted to introduce you to the lads. Uh, we we we've, we've just this is why this is why we've uh, fallen in love with Kansas, and we've taken all our Kansas jokes. So now they're. Back in Oklahoma, we're the south. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, kids, we're back now. This is what we did was we 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 already introduced the Sasanax. Now we're going to introduce you to the to 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 the prize to the number one. This is yes. right here. This is Meg Ward. Actually, sorry, you introduce yourself, please. I'm Meg. Can you? Uh, what's your? Can, give us your your biggest musical influence. And don't say that. Oh. <laughs> it's probably gonna be my dad. <laughs> I'm joking. Perfect. I think we saw Flogging Molly live once, and that sold me on it. Was sold that me the, on a little bit? Was, was that the beginning? I mean, was that your? Yeah, but I wanted to play banjo, and then he got oh. better at it than I did. Good choice. Oh. He said, "If you're gonna be honorary, you're gonna play the accordion." I said, "Okay." You're, you're tremendous on it, by the way. You know, as it, this is our first time. We've known about you forever. You have to see Meg. You have to see Meg. You have to. And kept saying it. Kept saying it. So that was our first time. So oh, we are. Well, thank you. Just, uh, yeah, was, Glad it happened. Yeah, yeah. It was, it's right. And now, now you're going off to college. Yes. So you're not going to be playing with them as often, but you're not leaving. I'm going to get us gigs in Lawrence while I'm going to college. <laughs> yes. Can you can you say that again, please? <laughs> yep. That's just music to like Granada's open for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Oscar, yeah. I say you too, yeah. Yeah. And and, and, and how, how long, I, you know, obviously proud dad, Matt's the dad. Um, but how long have you been, how long have you been playing? How long have you been, uh, how long, you know, you, you picked it up easily, but how long have you been playing? Oof. Um, we got it my fourth grade year, I think. And then I think the band came my fifth grade year, and I just graduated from high school. So, since 2015, maybe. I bought her a red Ferrari. Red Ferrari. That was the, that was the brand. It was a red yeah. accordion, yeah. Italian. It was called Ferrari. So I was like, Wow, nice. yeah. at least wow. I could do right. You, you played piano though. Prior yeah, to and I'd lay down on the bench and like play without <laughs> looking. So I think that was just like Jeez. summoning myself. Jeez. <laughs> this is how it happened. Yeah. So that's that's it. That's, that's foreshadowing. Did, did that? Yeah. Did that translate? Was that? I think it did somewhere in the back of my mind. <laughs> but you, you're now. I, I've seen a lot of accordion players, and again, this is not this is not a knock on them, but a lot of them don't use their left hand. You know, on, on the, you know the the bass keys. Or bass whatever. keys. Yeah. I you. I mean, you just seem to. In, uh, I mean, obviously you've been playing for a while, but you just, it, it, you make it look really easy. Is, I think. Was that, what, what, was the, what was the toughest part of that? Yeah, I mean, I think even the toughest part now is figuring out what to play with the left hand on some of the songs, because the bass covers it. Yeah. And it's kind of like, what do you do with it? If it's not a polka beat, or if it's not like like a waltz, or like even like, like Start Wearing Purple, that kind of beat. It doesn't really work the same. Like it doesn't, it doesn't fit in. So that's still hard to figure out. But once you get one pattern, you're kind of set yeah. for a lot of songs. But I have to say too that the the, the, the I, I, anybody jump in too because I I, I I really don't know. I know what I like, but I, I your again your ear on what not to play is a lot of the time. The bass player will always tell you that that what's mm -hmm. what you don't play is kind of what floats the boat. Yeah. I think and. Like I said, you just, just really, uh, we said this again, we're not just saying this because we don't want to get kicked out of here. Uh, but we, every time we see the Sassanox, it, it jumps a level. And of course, the, 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 you know, hearing, hearing you play with them today, I understand. I knew what, I knew what they were talking about, but proud dad and proud uncle and, yes. you, know, you know, but it was a whole other level tonight. And it's just, you know, and the Sassanox kind of do the same thing as we, we do, you know, we do, we, uh, we run the sound from the stage typically, you know. Uh, Joey will hang out in the first couple of songs and get levels, and then you come up and you cross our fingers. Yeah, and the best, basically. basically. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of the times it's the it, my one of my favorite bands of all time is a band called Iron Maiden. You guys probably wouldn't know them, but uh, uh, they early on in their touring figured out we're not going to sound check. In an empty room, and then come back on and play because the sound is completely different yeah. when there's people in the room. 
And when you, in that, you know, when we do that as a band, it's uh, you know, you're like, no, this is this isn't the mix I had. Everything changes. Yeah. It's just, it really is. It's it, 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 it you know, and, and it's the most maddening thing too because you spend all this time tweaking and getting everything right. So it's nine times out of ten you have to have a. We, we call him uh, Saint Joseph of Assisi. He he, he, really, he <laughs> ran the sound tonight. Looked in all the gear. Just I mean, just ran all night, all night. But it, you know, to have a good year like that, and also you know, you're you're very meticulous on your on what you like. Yeah, I'm a perfectionist, unfortunately. So for better or worse. Meticulous, yeah, that's what we say. That's what we say. Meticulous me. <laughs> Call him ridiculous Dewey. <laughs> so what's so 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 uh uh okay I'm gonna go just just rapid fire. I'm gonna go around I'm gonna I'm gonna start with you, sorry, but okay. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna say so I'm gonna ask you uh go into your head right now, you have to play another instrument in the band. What is it? Take any of these instruments. Oh drums. Drums, really? Oh that'd be so <laughs> much fun. Oh yeah. You got a happy turbo right there. You got a happy turbo. <laughs> Same so question. Fun. Accordion. Whoa. <laughs> All right. I'm learning. Good job. I think bass would be the next step. I mean, just rhythm. Because you, because you want to stay in that. Yeah. You want to stay in that. Uh, you see, that's what. I, that is true. Uh, that's that's true rhythm section right there. You know what I mean? Turbo. I would take bass too. That's exactly. Yeah. What I'm saying, yeah. So. Smart. I would love to play yeah. electric guitar. I'm, I've always. You too play electric guitar. Yeah, but I'm not good enough to play like lead. That's what I would want to do. Okay. I just got to practice. Okay. Well, there, 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 there's one. There's one surefire way to get around that. Just volume. <laughs> just volume. Just that's it. Distortion. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Distortion. Yeah. Yeah. Distortion. Yeah. Rich. Uh, uh, I would. I would love to rip lead guitar. The reason I play bass is because when we first were musicians in high school, I was nothing like. I've got a couple of buddies that play music, and they're just ripping blues guitarists. I would. I would love to do that, but I can't. So I'd play blues on the bass. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Very, very cool. Clint? Juice harp. <laughs> That's a great one. Uh, say that again, say that again slowly. What was it? <laughs> I think the only instruments left are probably mandolin, which I'd love, well, to, be, that be, I'd love to be better at mandolin than I am. Um, they let me play on a few songs because I can handle a little bit, but I'd like to be better at it. Uh, I, I think that's probably where I, I would land. I'd like to be better at that. Mandolin? Yeah. Yeah, I love the mandolin too. Tom. I think every guitarist, and you, maybe you're different, but I always want to play drums. And then I go back there and I'll try to play it, and I suck at it so bad. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Drums. Is yeah, like, you do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Like, yeah. Speak out. Jesus. <laughs> I'll, I'll cool. play Stranglehold. Stranglehold. There you go. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, we just got yeah. hold in here again. We're, we're, we're a really good at so, guitar hero. But you, so. but you want to tell them what you do usually during my solo of Stranglehold? I usually time it. I grab my phone. And it holds up the whole crowd yeah. to see. <laughs> That's only at the bars. We we got to, what was it, five minutes and 40 yeah. seconds? Yeah. Today had the whole record. It's brutal. I it's been good the today yeah. because there might have been a better guitarist there than me, so I didn't want to try to like show off. No, I've, I've memorized at some point in the solo, he's got like 45 seconds left. That's you turned to me tonight. Yeah, just, I said forty-five, we got 45 seconds. seconds. <laughs> <laughs> wake up! Wake up! Oh, no. I can tell you, you know what it is. Trophy from Omaha. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. I heard on that trophy. That's uh, right. Co Colleen and Jamie, they're always like, "Oh God, stranglehold." <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, but the best tradition about it is. Matt goes and orders a round of beers for yes, us. Yes, it's and the last song. We start playing Stranglehold because it's the last song, and then we're going to go out to the bar and order this beer. It's awesome. Wow. He gets back in time to back. sing the last verse. Mm -hmm. so I take all the last verse. I, I go out to the audience and see how loud I can crank your guitar before anybody walks out. <laughs> 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 you get some action shots. Yep. Guys, I'm really not that bad of a guitarist. <laughs> <laughs> Is that too much? I, I never knew. No, oh, shut up. <laughs> wow. This got, this has got brutal all of a sudden. <laughs> Nobody uh, wants to play violin, huh? I know, I see that. Violin, 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 violin. Actually, same actually, strings. Joey, I would yeah. love same to do that. Same strings. Yeah. I would love to fiddle. play violin. Fiddle, I want to play fiddle. Uh, <laughs> oh, not violin. Classically violin. trained, it sounds like. <laughs> wow, so Chad, same question. Oh, drums. Drums? That's a really easy question. I mean, I sp I've spent so much time uh, recording stuff, and like when you put drums on a recording, that that actually makes it, it didn't feel like a real recording until you have drums on. It's like, oh. Now we're getting some. Yeah. That's always like, you know, I'm, I'm always going to be a frustrated drummer because I don't, if 
that's the other half of the rhythm section. So I'm always thinking about that. And it's one, it's one of the reasons why it's so great playing with this guy, because he does what I'm thinking. Yeah. One of the one of the things uh, that's interesting, like John and I hardly ever make eye contact, but I look right at him, and and I'll see him. I don't know if he knows this, but he'll always lean over, just a little bit. I'm like, well, you can't look at me. He's farting. But, <laughs> yeah, he's practicing. No, I'm sorry. But, <laughs> but I, like, I can feel him listening to me. It's really interesting. Yeah, there, there, there's a language. We've talked about this a million times. There is a language that you don't ever get to. You don't have. You don't ever have to. Um, you know, look and you know, like I, 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 certain songs on you know on certain nights. Um, depending on what the sound is in your ears, I'll go ahead and beat the piss out of this. We need. We need. You know, but and he knows. As soon as I turn around, he knows. He knows. He doesn't. You know, he's begged me not to not to look at him in the show, but. We, we you get to that, that was thing. Quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. We yeah. have chills and shit. Yeah. Well, we, 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 we fight. The, yeah. You know the technical difficulties. And we, oh, look, the crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Um, yeah. So, 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 so there's there's that language. There's that there's that communication that you have on. You know, it's just it's it, it's. Uh, I wouldn't. I seriously wouldn't want to do anything else. I mean, I, you know, as far as music, and I don't do anything else. I, I sit like this until the next show, and I just. Mm, but it's just there's nothing better. What about you? What than instrument you. for you? Yeah. What this instrument, instrument for you? Is going to be. Uh, I'm going to be bagpipes. Bagpipes. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I, like, I'm just kidding. I hate. I would actually. I wouldn't mind. I, I hate bagpipes more than I hate. Oh, I, I, I'd rather I'd rather get like a like a like a stray cat and just squeeze it. <laughs> uh, I, 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 but that's just me. I'm not thinking. But no, I think I'd be. I, I, I think I would love to play violin. Uh, uh, just. To, to, to me, it's, it's like an electric guitar. It's not, to me, it's not, it, 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 it's as expressive as an electric guitar, but it's, it would kind of calm me down a little bit. You know, guitar, there's just so much to do. There's so many little, you, you, you yeah, know, just, no. just having that, you know, banjo, same thing, you know, you can, you can just do so I got, much. I got two less strings, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you, yeah. you, you work them, you work them, but yeah, it's a, it's a. Our, I, I've noticed too, like our, like when you make eye contact, normally ours is like total panic. <laughs> <laughs> you don't you don't seem flustered at all. You don't get I am thinking about anything but the accordion. Really? <laughs> at any moment, yeah. I was like decorating my door in my mind today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, but, I should probably look like I'm into it today. But, but if anybody makes a mistake Yeah, do you get you, oh, you, you get, get the bad, bad I, poker face. I make yeah. a lot of mistakes. Okay. I'll all agree. I'll just admit, I make a lot of mistakes and makes a lot of What? I don't even look at him. Out of, the, out of the corner of her eye, she's like, mm, you know, she's well, let, burning okay, me. Okay, let me ask you this group question. Let me ask you this. When somebody makes a mistake in the band, it doesn't matter what instrument, is, is there an instrument that's the most derailing for you when, you know, when they screw up? Is is there like there one thing, drummer? Actually, I think drums, bro. Yeah. Might be yeah. Most yeah. noticeable. Drums, yeah. actually. But John never messes up. That's true. Oh, no, no, that's true. true. <laughs> Depends on what kind of mess up. Drums I mean, and just, bass, because yeah. it is the backbone yeah. of, of the band. See, the I, I always go bass because we. And, you know, I, uh, my, my my latest thing that I, I do to chat is like, oh, that's three chords because he missed one of them. You know, you know, and it's just. So in a way, like it'll be at the end of the next verse or something. Some of you fit a, find some place to fit it in. Three chords. <laughs> like, that was like five minutes ago. Yeah. It's because it's rhythm and, it's, and notes. It's rhythm and pitch. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I was just, yeah. just going to say. It's exactly, Joe. Oh, uh, music yeah. teacher over there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, but, but when you, yeah, when you pull that bottom out, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> when you pull that bottom out, when you pull that, not only just the rhythm, but that that when you put that that bass, you know that that thunder out. Yeah, and or or it comes in at the different spot, or it's wrong. Yeah. It just it's, it's like so somebody pull the power on yes. this thing. I, yeah, you know what? One thing I say too is like we have I've gotten out there and played the totally wrong thing on the tin whistle, or done something totally wrong on the guitar, and we'll somehow plow through it. But I think we've stopped a song live one time, and it was because drums and and bass was off. You know, and that's yeah. that's that's 
I started the wrong key. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I'm sorry, Matt, but and I you know, remember that. In that situation, you tell me if you do the same, it's like, if we get a plan yeah. to this, we're just going to stop. And eventually, like, no, we're just going to stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's try that again. I couldn't pull out of it. Yeah. I'm like singing along and I'm in the wrong key. It was, uh, no, it was whiskey in the jar. Foggy do. Foggy do. Foggy do. It was foggy do. And it was like a habit. Like I always, for whatever reason in my head, I whatever key it was, we were doing it in D and I was in G or whatever. We just switched it, right? And, it, and it's it always yeah. a boom, 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 boom. And so I blamed it on the drummer every time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, if he wouldn't start it, that's wrong. Do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. would have sang it wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Drums capoed right. <laughs> <laughs> It, it, I was gonna say that, like, if the drums and the bass screw up right at the beginning, that is the hardest thing to recover from. It's like, oh crap, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? But a lot of times, I'll screw up on a guitar and they'll just plow right through it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just play it a second time when it comes back yeah. around. Play it that yeah, way yeah, a second yeah, 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 time, yeah. and then nobody knows. Starts to sound I did a little that tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Made a mistake, came back around, and did exactly the same mistake that I did. So it sounded like it was supposed to be that way. And, 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 and I'll say again. I'll say again to tonight. In the floor, we were in the front. It was 100%. I stood there for the whole thing and I, you know, walked side to side, listened to, you know, it was 100% from the front of the stage. And because, you know, at the end of the show, usually you go, oh, that's good, you know, because it that messes with my head too when I go to bed that night. Do you, do you ever go, go to bed and you go, oh, I, you know, that that one part? I, yeah. So, so, so I'll, I'll go home and I'll, I'll, I'll write a new solo for a song. I'm just tired of that old one. I write a new solo and they go, oh, that sounds good. They go, wait a minute. Oh, but what if I do this? So by the end of by the end of that session, I have two or three different options, and then when I get to the show, I can't play any of them, and I'm just going, "What was that?" You know, like, great ideas in here, horrible ideas for our life. You know, because you know we didn't practice it. I'm going, "Oh, I'll show." Them. Oh, shit. So, so everything becomes me. Do you ever do anything like that? Do you ever? Do you I, ever? I do it at the show. I'm like, "Oh, yeah. they don't want to hear what I played," you know, five times in a row. I'm going to try something different. That doesn't usually go. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So is, is, is there is there room to, to, to you guys all have, is there room for for uh, additions of new sections? Is there is there room to, to kind of play around with the stuff live? Or, or do you have your, you we're, know? We're definitely not like Led Zeppelin where we're playing it different every time we come out or whatever. Yeah. We're, we're, we're pretty... And when you got this many people too, it is kind of hard to say. Okay, yeah, that's we're, what, that, that's we're my question. Too, you, so there's good and bad with that. Like with you guys, it's three piece, and if somebody starts screwing up, you can't hide behind anybody. If I start screwing up, I can kind of hide behind something. Yeah. Or, or act like I'm playing, but not really play or whatever and stuff. And there's plenty of things to pick us up. So, but I would say like if we're gonna add a couple different, you know, time signature changes in there, it just won't work. If yeah. Not with this many people, somebody's not gonna get the memo or whatever. It's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna go south. It's probably gonna be. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I like the, 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 the our ability to turn yes. at any moment. Yeah. yeah. Well, we did it tonight. We go uh, there's times where we just you guys, it's like one quick nod. I'm like, oh, there I think that's the and difference. And boom, we're yeah. turning, and then yeah. I'm like, where we're going next. I kind of like that because I'm like, <laughs> it's exciting. Yeah. It's it's like, the they don't know. You know that's, that's the difference between amateurs doing. and professionals. No, no, no. <laughs> there was no, there, there, was, there was no amateurs tonight. There was no <laughs> amateurs in sight. This was a, this no. was a thrill tonight. Oh, but I think I don't know if it's everybody sees it with you guys or if it's other musicians see it but you you we see it just like they just veered off and just did this you know and they all just anticipated and went and never that's pretty freaking cool yeah you know but, that's, but that, that's that, that's the that's the that's that unspoken word right yeah. you know yeah. if they, yeah. like so, so 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 let's say let's say we're doing a, another Sassanax original right and and you have an idea on stage for another verse. Can you call for another verse? Nope. <laughs> not, not that extreme, no. But if, if we goof in the middle though, we've gotten good enough at listening to each other that we can pick up and figure out where we all are. Yeah. Sometimes without the audience even knowing well, what happened. I wrote this one without the bridge in there and Matt wrote the bridge. So tonight we popped up and he, and to pull the curtain back, we got the chords in front of us or whatever. And, and uh, he pulled up the one without the, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he put the part without the bridge in it. And it was funny because half of us went to the bridge and half of us didn't. So it was like, oh shoot. I'm just playing what's on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> what but, screen? I don't know what you're talking but, about. Uh, that's the song that I've got, I've gotten basically memorized 
when I'm playing that song. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So we went straight. I went I straight to the bridge because chance. that's where we go. Yeah. To just be hero or zero? It's always stuck in my head, but I couldn't remember. And I was freaking zero today. No, because so. I agree, mate. Because yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna go to the bridge, but I was like. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what it is. Yeah. So I'm just going to play fucking what's on the screen. Yep. Yeah. That's the I problem with screens. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. A, that's yeah. A, I was curious because if you can pull another verse, you know, first one or repeat or, yeah. you know, stuff like that. Because, my, my, again, it's so rare that, not rare, but, you know, in certain situations when people get up and dance and you're doing a song, mm -hmm. And I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, you know, right, like, we're gonna like, play it again. Exactly. Yeah. Just extend it. They're having a good time. They're, they're old. You know. What we do to the Catholic? Dinner? We actually like, did that. Yeah. Holy crap! New York kind of good. See? <laughs> <laughs> no, we did. Uh, they wanted to. Uh, what did we play? It's sentimental Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fly away. Without, 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 without you. Without you. Yeah. 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 That was yeah. it. There was no egg. No, yeah. no, no trumpet. No. Who needs an accordion? No. Uh, uh, they wanted. They were doing that. We don't need you, Meg. Grand March. Grand March. It's a polka. It's a polka. German polka thing. And the Catholics dance around in the chain. You know, the <laughs> <laughs> Any, anytime there's Catholic dancing, there's, there's, there's a Not, child. This is a German thing. thing. It's all German. German. Okay. So okay. Matt and I, we grew up around that, so we saw it. So they have a certain time, and so we we just started the song over again and ran through it, and then right when yeah, it was time so to end, we, we did. So. We did do what you're asking. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. For one time. Yeah. <laughs> well, Not professionals. <laughs> and we need to do. Yeah, we need to. But when it comes to. Um, <laughs> You know, knowing what the other person is doing, John might agree, but we, we're like being practice whatever it needs farting around. We have a very close uh, background of what we play. Yeah, and like John will be messing around in practice, and he'll just be playing something, and I'll be like, "Oh, I know what that is." <laughs> you know, it it's really it's really fun. Yeah, like you were and I are kind of in the same school too of like some of that old classic eighties. Yes, stuff the classic eighties, so. got you know, rock and stuff. And so we'll do that too. We'll like start playing something. And it's so funny because the other people are like, all right, stop that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's oh, we get on each other. We yeah. can keep going. Yeah. yeah. See? Look. The model moves. <laughs> <The model movement. laughs> I like I like your style. I like your style. <laughs> Most of the time when we when we do that, it is damage control. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is the Sassanax, and I urge you, we'll be putting the, the links on here, but check their music out and uh, check out some live clips. We've just been we're blown away. Every time we see them, they up and up and up and up and up the level. So it's uh, it's uh, absolutely torture playing with them. So <laughs> <laughs> for us. But yeah, so part one. All right. And scene. Give me a pet peeve. Give me a pet peeve. Out the top of your head. Somebody give me a pet peeve. Anything. Uh, it's a hard left turn. A pet peeve? Just yeah. life? Like yeah. anything? Anything. Anything in the world. I'll give you mine. I'll, I'll start. I mean, I got a... Okay, go. A real... This is a small little nuance one. I don't like when people use periods at the end of the texting. You know, they one word you with a period. I'm like, what is that? Oh. Why the period? What is that? It What's makes it sound mean or like mad, right? Makes does the period angry. mean mad? Yeah. Well, if it's one word, hi. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you say hi, period. That doesn't sound like a happy hello, for example. Yeah. Not that anybody said that. Maybe you haven't texted them back, or maybe you're you're yeah. you're, you're you're taking your time hello. because the, your convenience is for them, not you. The, your phone, excuse me, your convenience. Your phone is for their convenience, not yours. Correct. 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 So uh, that's a that's a good one. Chad. You got one? Yeah. Neighbors who leave their their laundry in the uh, oh. laundry area unattended for hours or even days at a time. They can oh. all go fuck themselves. <laughs> oh. That has not happened in my place in a while, but it's like, wow. We live in a day and age where we all have timers like on our phones. And it just seems like some people just never learn to use them. Do you take it out? I have to, yeah. Oh, I would. Move it the fuck out of the way. If it's wet in the wash, it's yep. coming out. Nope. See you, man. That's a big that's one. A, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, mine, mine is a... Uh, Mine is exercise. I, my pet peeve is exercise. And my biggest pet peeve is exercising when you don't have to. And I'll give you an example. Wait, what? I don't understand. I know. That's, I'm, <laughs> What's I'm, happening I'm here? here to explain. So yesterday in, in, in uh, the, the, the lovely city of Platt, Missouri, I found myself at a high school. I was walking by a high school. And I'm not, I'm not allowed. Legally, I'm not allowed. 
So I just took off running anyway. Found out I didn't need to run. It's summer. There's no kids. I was safe. That's it. Kazunt. Sorry. Don't be sorry. What are you apologizing for? You're in the middle of a Did monologue. You get... <laughs> Damn you. I'm just, I'm just angry. I ran. I didn't have to. Yeah. Damn it. No kids. No cops. No witnesses. I could see you as like the villain in the James Bond movie, and you have the big monologue. You know. Yeah. Like why you're doing it. You know. With my big white pussy. The cat. Yeah. So I said. Yeah. The other word for cat yeah. is pussy cat. Ask Tom Jones. Wait, what? You think he ever abused that cat? He went with the one with the cute little eyes, the cute little nose, pussy cat nose. Um, <laughs> oh, silly slapper Sunday. Gentlemen, start your engines. I need the best sandwich ever. Best sandwich ever. I want the bread, I want the interior. Go. Meatball sub, soft bread. Soft don't bread. toast the fucking don't toast, bread. Don't toast bread. Nah, dude, I want to cut the top of my mouth when I'm eating it. But, pepper jack cheese, wrapped around, and mustard. Uh, mustard? What, what kind of mustard? Just regular mustard, it's fine. Okay. I don't need no fancy mustard. All right, Chad, you're oh, up. Oh, it's so good. Now, this goes back to when I used to eat meat, but. Oh, so, so, hold, hold on, hold on. You have to eat it now. If you make it, you have to eat it oh, now. I have to eat it now? Yeah. Damn it. Best sandwich. Again, I, I'm at your defense on this one. We have, you know, when we ate at the abattoir, that's the all abattoir. they had. Oh yeah, well, when in Rome. You've got anything. The meat. You've got everything, you've got everything Pe at your thing. Peanut butter? Best. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> really? I can't, I, like, I don't really do butter? sandwiches anymore. Okay, how about scrambled eggs, pepper jack on a Hollow roll. A hollow roll? Is, yeah, that, a, is, is, that, is, that, is that a racist sandwich? Hala. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, you, you, you gotta roll that. You have to be careful toasting those, though. Breakfast sandwich. Uh huh. They, they, breakfast they, sandwich. They burn really I'm easily. a huge, huge breakfast sandwich fan. Waffle House, bacon, egg, and cheese. Oh, that was pretty good. <laughs> Start your engine, yeah. yeah. Yeah, my, so, uh, sandwich I'm gonna go with is it's, uh, it's fried egg. Jalapeno sausage, bacon, um, and uh, with a uh, with potato pancake kind of thing. Basically, fried potato with jalapenos. I like it. I like it on uh, like a, a wheat roll, uh, toasted. Yeah, a little ketchup. Best sandwich in the world. I used to be really fond of thinly sliced corned beef with on uh, with provolone on rye. That was when I used to work at Con's Deli. That's what I used to make for myself for my break all the time. So that's the best sandwich ever? Uh, it was back then. Okay. Not now? No. So, okay. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying to, to so, uh, so, so what else has vegetarianism taken from you? B besides the will to live. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, 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 again, that's I couldn't it. understand the, I, I've, 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 done the vegetarian thing for a few days to try it and not bad my the trick for me to not eat meat is to over just make everything extra spicy i love jalapenos habanero i love i love really spicy stuff to me the the the, the substitute was spice just put more fire in it and i was good and i love i love i've had um well, we, we, we haven't uh, spoken much about the, we, we, you know, we always talk about O'Malley's at Weston, but the restaurant, I mean, I mean, not only VIP service, there was a, there was a 30, 40 minute wait yesterday. And uh, the manager, she comes over, she goes, hey, not them, come on, we got a table <laughs> in here. You know, everybody stand out of the way. We just like plow through, put us on the thing. It was just, it was just, and I had salad both days. I had that, that, that their house salad both days. And they have their own poppy seed dressing, and it's out of this world, out of this world. And it's great service. Everybody smiling. Everybody, you know, and they've got inside and outside seating, and it's it's uh, that real Irish pub feel inside. It's completely separate from O'Malley's, but the the food was just really well done, and the, the staff could not have been more hospitable. Just, just, just the whole weekend. It's yeah. like it's one of those things you kind of like, wait a minute, did that happen? Yeah. What else we got? What else we got with Slapper Day two eighty five? PJ's coffee. Very nice. Dark roast. Two shots of coffee. Two shots of espresso. 
What'd you get? Pecan. Pecan? Southern pecan? Southern pecan. Yeah. yeah. How is it? It's good. It smells good. Yeah, it's good. Chad, what'd you get? Same thing you did. It's dark roast with two shots. Wise man. What? I'm not getting two shots right now. You don't need to. I mean, all that. Yeah. Yeah, no, you gotta enjoy life. Don't let, don't let, don't, don't drink. Don't. Did you drink your water this morning? Much, much, much. I yeah. got two bottles this morning. Yeah. Yeah, we stopped and got the uh, stopped and got the the, the gallons. I've, I've already had that. That's today, and uh, I've had uh, I had I had the the small bottles as well in the room. So pretty wet morning, as she likes to say. Well, I'm doing no Red Bulls this week. So no, you doing what? No Red Bulls this week. Now I'm publicly sharing it. So oh, water and only one cup of coffee. That's it. So how many Red Bulls do you drink a day, Young Turbo? One to two. One to two. Yeah, one to two. Chad, how many Red Bulls a day? Zero. Same as me. Yeah, I mean, there's some fan. days where I do so zero. I got to cut back. But I want to consistently do zero. Yeah. So um, why why are you not drinking Red, red Bulls? Why are you t- uh, extracting them from your daily routine? It's always been my vice for a long time, and it's time to change that. Okay, so what? what, what, what now we're in Kansas. We just crossed into Kansas. Look at this. Kansas City. We're in Missouri. Hey. How does that happen? Sorry, uh, you're in. Uh, so, why do you take the? Is it a health thing? Is it a? There it is. Hey, it Look out. at that. Hey, uh, Kansas, calm down on your big sign. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's a combination. I mean, the health thing for sure, but I think it's like I'm in control of this. You know what I mean? It, right now, it's like uh, I, I'm going to it. So yeah. it's sort of in control. Yeah. I'm like, no, nope, that's not going to happen. So, you know. Yeah. Increase that quality of sleep. Not to sound cliche. I know everyone tries to do that these days. But. Oh, I know. Uh, I wasn't aware of that. I was real committed to, like, no caffeine after, like, noon. Yeah. You know? And uh, and it seems to be when I'm having two Red Bulls, that starts, that, that, that goal pulse moves. And so next thing you know, it's 2 o'clock. And I'm like, uh, I'm getting another one. And it's like, eh. once that starts happening, I'm like, I got to pull back. Okay. So that's why I'm doing it. Chad, do you have anything like that in your in your daily routine that you'd like to eliminate? Uh, currently, no. I, I mean, you know, you wanna, I used to have a problem with Diet Coke going way back. I don't care. I can't think of anything that I'm doing too much. I have it pretty well dialed in now. When I first started brewing coffee at home during the pandemic, I had to figure out what my limit was because I wasn't used to having an unlimited supply of coffee at home. Yeah. So I figured out, I usually brew about four or five cups. Once I plow through that, I'm done. That's funny, yeah. My body will tell me when I've reached my limit with caffeine, it's weird. I'll just start, it just becomes unpleasant to drink when I've started having too much. But that that threshold can get raised, you know, if I'm drinking, if I have been habitually drinking more. Yeah, I've I've had nothing that I, I don't drink sodas. Um, I couldn't ever get a taste for Red Bull. Um, That's a very weird flavor. I don't know where they came up with that. I do. Flavor. I think they found ba- battery acid. And they, added, like, they added they added sugar. It tastes like medicine. Medicine. Yeah. Yeah. I always hated it. And yeah. For some reason, it just kicked in. It's but taste, the Red yeah. Bull goes into other things. Next thing you know, I have two Diet Cokes in the same day. And I'm yeah. like, wait a minute. I had two Red Bulls, two yeah. Diet Cokes. What the heck? So I say, I, I stay away from the fizzy drinks only because it's, it, 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 it doesn't do anything for me. And, I, I, and all, as much as I like sweet, I do not enjoy that. The fizziness? No, no. I love that. I mean, I love the, the I, 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 uh, sparkling water. Yes. Sometimes, yeah. I mean, but it, again, it's a very rare thing. But the sweet, uh, what do you call it? The just the, that syrupy, you know, and, and and especially the the if you're getting the off brand, and, or you know, if you if you if you've ever tasted the off brand or the 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 fizzy drinks at the at the pub, you know, at the clubs or whatever, it's all that box syrup. Mixed with, you know, all that carbonation and all that—it's just nasty. That nasty taking around, you know. I just can't—I can't ever get a hold of it. So, uh, so I—I've—I I, I crave water, and I 
drink a lot, you know, quite a bit of coffee. But not so much that I, uh, you know, yeah, just I, you know, I, I, I've done it for a couple of days without it, and no, no problem. Yeah, yeah. I really thought I'd be paying for it. It was not. I will if I if I stop if I stop drinking coffee for whatever reason. Uh, this has always been true. I'll, I'll start getting a headache, like I think middle of the second day, or yeah, like that. It takes a while for it to kick in. And then, of course, we're we're heading up. Well, this is this is uh, this is old now, but we are uh, we're also going to uh, Omaha, which we're thrilled about, right? Yes. Heck yeah! Yeah. So excited, um, and I can't wait. Well, of course, we can sh- probably share it now, but we'll wait. But just going for that for that one, you know, for that big, 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 ooh, you know, first time really playing in Lincoln. As well, yeah. I'll say, you know, we, we we had a really fun time the last time, like we like we said on the last episode, um, we uh, we, <laughs> it, you know, it, it was one of those things. We were glad to get our foot in the door, but just way too many bands, and you know, just way way too, uh, you know, thrown together to, you know. Mm-hmm. So looking forward to that, and then uh, I think what we should do is as we past Burt Cartwell we're gonna we're gonna sign off and uh, I don't know, get ready for the get ready for the onslaught of rock and roll that's gonna happen yeah. in Ever Creek Barn in Kansas on oh, a beautiful really? Sunday afternoon 81 degrees sun is shining oh there's gonna be there's gonna be some rock laid tonight <laughs> alright All right. kids thank you for listening that's Turbo. That's Chad. We are Blackguards, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks yes. for listening. See you.